Hello and welcome to another squad video. So it's out. It's finally out on Steam. Brilliant. And I've jumped in and played for an hour or two with some of the new players coming in. All the servers were nice and full. Brilliant. I hope it stays that way. Now there has been a few... I've got to use my words carefully here. Wankers. There we go. Already. Who are deciding to spoil it. And there's a couple of guys that I jumped in. Jumped in the squad. Trying to help people. You know, asking genuine questions. Brilliant. You know, more than willing to help explain how you use the keys and everything. But there's two guys on the server who are just constantly causing problems, being racist, utterly racist, and being complete and utter tools, to be honest with you. And it just this is not what the game needs. I hope the devs look at this video and take action because if I see him in game again, I'll just TK him. I'm not putting up with it. That's the end of it. Right. So I've created this video to help some of the new players because I've noticed, having said, played a few, a couple of hours now, new players, they're all asking the same questions over and over again. So this video is going to be really, 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 really quick just to answer some of the most frequent questions I got asked when I went in to try and help you guys out. So let's jump in and I'll explain what they are. Yes, you can toggle crouch. You can also toggle your lean keys as well. Q and E for looking around corners. So you don't need to have a hundred fingers on the keyboard. Makes it a lot easier. You'll find that in the options menu. Yes, you can zoom in. I was talking to some guy who said it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It does. You have to be aiming down the site first. So right click once with the mouse and then press your left shift. This will focus in and zoom your screen in. This is like holding your breath and it isn't indefinite. You can only do it for a certain amount of time. And it <coughs> Excuse me. Comes out of your stamina bar, which you'll notice down at the bottom right when you're running around. The circle at the bottom is the amount of ammo you've got for each weapon. Now, quickly on the map, I'm going to do this really, really quickly on here. You can always spawn back at your main base here if you're dying by clicking on the yellow dot. Whenever you die, if you want to get back, that's the job. This is an FOB that the squad leader puts down, and the whole team, not just your squad, the whole team can spawn here and this is what it looks like over here. This is your forward operating base. And from this location, the squad leader could put down sandbags, emplacements, barbed wire, things like that. But only the squad leader can do it. And you need to use your shovel to build it up. Right. Next. These are icons on here. Purple means defend. Your team need to defend this area. And you'll know when you're leaving the area. It can be quite wide because the bar at the top will disappear. Riverside Farm, same thing. When you start to attack this, you'll see a bar at the top that says Riverside. These large numbers are the squad leader numbers of the squad you're in. Green is your fellow teammates. And this is a rally point your squad leader has put down. So this is only squad one can launch at that one. And it is limited, so after about 10 or 7 goes, it will start to disappear and you'll see a number on top. The enemy can reduce this down by right shoveling it, which will destroy it. Or if they get lots of enemies within the location, it will be destroyed. Next. I jumped in a squad and both guys said to me immediately, Why can't I be a sniper? I want to be a sniper. Sniper-tastic. I knew this would happen when we come in game. Basically, there aren't enough members in this squad in order to open up the fire support roles. The more members you get in here, the more options will open up here. You, know, you may have four points to spend in here so you may be able to get two saw gunners and a, a, a law or an rpg gunner or a sniper two two or threes and the number will tell you how many are available in each one so don't all expect to be able to set up your own squad and jump straight in and be sniper elite cod noobs because it just won't happen on screen now you can see you have what a lot of new players were doing they stand out in the middle of the open field or in the in a compound and they fire away. This is where you should be, behind a wall, leaning, etc, etc. Death comes very quickly in this game. You want to run from cover to cover. Don't go running down the middle of an open field. Don't go running from one open gap to another one. Run up, have a look. Even if you want to start getting your own little squad tactics of one moving up, one passing, one moving up, one passing, it really will help you a lot. Now, let's say the enemy are on the other side of this field. And we need to get round and attack their flag. The last thing we want to be doing is this. Running out into the field, because they can 
obliterate you from any direction they want with RPGs. This is what you do. You run round the walls, giving yourself some cover. So try and find a place where you can get cover and get to your objective, rather than running out in the field and everybody getting annihilated. Also, you don't want the medics to be going in assault first. You want those at the back. They're going to help you. They're the ones that are going to get you back alive and back in the game. Now, these weapons, you want to be using small burst fire, even with the saw and the RPK. These are not hose pipes to be absolutely blasting, because your accuracy will just be rubbish. Unless you're doing suppression, you can probably open up a few more rounds, and that definitely will help you. Now, smoke grenades. Yes, we have smoke grenades, but the 203 class, we actually have smoke grenades which can be used as markers. They are coloured blue and red. But you can also use the smoke, as I do usually, to block a window. If you know there's an enemy on the uh, in a building on the top floor, firing out of those windows, get the smoke to cover. I haven't hit that in the middle, I do apologise. But as you can see, he now cannot see out of that window. So you can also use these smokes for concealment. And you'll get used to the range on using these weapons once you've been in game a few times. You'll soon get used to it. Enemy on the other side of this wall, you can hear them shuffling around. You can throw a grenade underhand by clicking it and clicking your right mouse button instead of your left. And you can throw them underhand, which is a great tactic. You can also press your left alt when you're walking around. It will make you walk slower and sneaky sneaky. The enemy may not hear you. I know this has just been a really quick, quick video, but I hope it helped out some of the new players with the most frequent questions I've been asked in-game. Any more, leave them in the box below. I'll see you on the battlefield. Bye-bye.